Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1 Week 6. Week 6, we're talking about time signatures. Time signatures. A time signature is a symbol which we write at the beginning of a piece. We write this at the beginning of a piece of music to show how many beats there are in one bar. Time signatures are made of two numbers and one on top of the other. Two numbers one on top of the other and let's take a look at time signatures here we have number on top of the other this is 3 4 time signatures are written after the clef and key signatures and only appear at the beginning of a piece of music not on every staff we not writing this on every staff only once at the beginning of the music piece in grade one music theory you need to know three time signatures two four three four and four four these are the only three time signatures that you need to focus on for music theory grade one the bottom number the bottom number in a time signature tells you the type type of beat we need to count in each bar. The number 4 represents a crochet beat. So in grade 1 music theory, we only need to think about counting crochets because the lower number is 4. In all three time signatures, you need to know at this grade. The top number. The top number tells us how many beats. How many beats? We need to count in each complete bar. So 2 4 means we should count two crochets in each complete bar. 3 4 means we should count three crochet beats. And 4 4 is telling us we should count four crochet beats. So 2 4 we count in two crochets in one bar. 3 4 we count in three crochets in one bar. 4-4 four, four means we're counting 4 crochets in bar. bar lines. We draw vertical bar lines, vertical bar lines, through the stave to divide the music up into complete bars. Sometimes the first and last bar of a piece can be incomplete, but all the bars in between must be complete. Here's an example in 2-4. Two, 2-4, four. Two, four, we said 2-4 means two crochets in one bar so we have a uh, two uh, two crochets but one minimum we know a minimum dividing it into two you get two crochets so we have two crochets two quivers equals to one crochet dotted crochet quiver crochet and a crochet rest so we see two one one half half equals to one 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 and a half plus half one one the values of the notes in each bar always adds up to two crochet bits Here's an example in 3-4. This time the first bar is incomplete. 3-4, three, 3 crochets in 1 bar. This is that vertical line we're drawing to divide. So 3-4, the first bar we have 1. The next we have 3. The next bar we have 3, 2 and 1. Half, half. One and a half and a half it's three we have one two three complete bar we have a rest half and quarter 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 and one and two 
The values of the nodes in each bar adds up to three crochets, except in the first and last bar which are incomplete, working out the time signature. In the grade 1 music theory exam, you might have to work out the time signature of a short piece. Don't forget that in grade 1 music e exam, you only need to know 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4. So the right answer must be one of those three. To work out the time signature, add up the node values in one bar, counting a crochet as one. Remember that a quiver, a quiver equals half a crochet, semi-quiver equals quarter, minim equals two crochets, and a semi-brief equals four. Also, don't forget that the dot increases the length of a note by half of its value. When we are practicing, write them out like this. This is semi-brief and it's four. Dotted minim, three. Minim, two. Dotted crochet, one and a half. Crochet, one. Dotted quiver, it's three chord. Quiver, half. Semi quiver, a quarter. Count up the notes in each bar and work out how many crochets each bar is worth. So this is our first bar. We go into the second. This is our third, and this is our fourth, last one. So all this should give us a crochet. So we said we need to count them and tell how many crochets are in each bar. Bar 1 is worth 4 crochets, and so are all others. 4 crochets per bar means the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Here's another example. There are two crochet beads per bar, so this is 2-4. We know this is first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, and fifth bar. Any missing bar lines. In your music theory exam, you might have to add the missing balance to short tune with a given time signature. Let's work out where to put the balance in the following melody. Use the same method. Count the crochet bits. The first bar line has been given. Here's our first bar been given. So we need to work out the rest. First, look at the time signature. This is time signature. How many beats do we need to count? Don't forget the top number on the time signature tells us how many to count. So we need to count three. In this melody the time signature is three four so we need to count three crochets in each bar. Three crochets in every bar. It's good to use the pencil when you note your values as you do this exercise. It's easier to work out where you've made a mistake and to double check your answer if you've done so. Let's pencil in those note values. So here we, we have done so. As we can see, we've done that. That's what we've done. Start by grouping together fractions to make up complete bits. Then add the bits together until you reach the number you need. Remember it will always be 2, 3 or 4 crochets in the grade 1 music theory exam. Then draw a bar line. Use a ruler for neatness. So 
first bar has been given, the second bar, there it is. So we need to work out the others. And as you can see, from here to here, it's three complete bits. Each bar uh, you draw, each bar line you draw, starts counting again. After that bar line, you start counting again. Repeat the process until you get to the end of the melody. So, you start counting and you get the first three beats. You get the next, then you draw a bar line. You get the next, you draw a bar line. Then you do the same. Thank you for watching and let's meet again next time.